What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Jack TV. This is your boy Joey Badass. Hoping you guys are enjoying them videos. We're on our way right now to a uh, um, tow in Stephenville. It's a 2001 BMW. I don't know what's wrong with it right now. Took a day off from some repos and hit these motor clubs up. I need to get a uh, couple more trucks so I can keep the motor clubs going with the towing and everything while I can uh, get the repossessions going full time. It's a work in progress. It's a lot of work. I got a lot of work, but I just don't have enough trucks. So, or the credit right now, the credit's rebuilding. I got some money saved up, but I'm just waiting for that right time and uh, give it like eh, another two or three months and uh, my credit would be perfect. And go ahead and get a couple trucks and I'm gonna really keep things going. What we will be doing is uh, releasing some merch here soon. We'll have our logo, Jack, the JCKD. Um, we'll have a lot of giveaways coming on soon. We'll have uh, just a lot of good footage. I mean, I've been getting some really good repo footage. You guys are gonna love these next couple videos coming up. But uh, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and share this comment. And uh, just let everybody know, man. We're coming for the top, man. But. Grow with us on the channel, grow with us as a business, and just be part of the family. And, uh, oh yeah, we got a special uh, guest right here, my nephew Gage. This is my brother Sean's boy. He likes riding a lot, he likes trying to chain up things, but I'm going to get him doing some camera uh, footage today. So, hope you guys uh, like what's going on. Go ahead and say hey. He's going to be making a YouTube channel soon. But, um, all right, guys, we're going to get on the way. Did somebody help her push it in? Oh, you guys had to push it? Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. So it just won't even start up on you. Does it still have like battery in there and everything? <laughs> it might be like a starter or something maybe. Yeah. <laughs> What's the name of the shop that it's going to? Okay, right there, Old Love Point, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, awesome. Uh, yep. Good job. Oh, yeah, this is a little better. So. Oh. 
Can you unlock, please? Oh my goodness, I've been soaked the last couple of days. I have no idea. Yeah, I've been soaked probably the last, what, two, three days? Two days at least? Yeah. All right, you got her? Yeah. You want me to follow you up there? Yeah, you can follow Okay. Me. Which car are you in? I'm in the suburban, the SUV. Okay, gotcha. All right, I'll follow you. Okay, bye. Have a good day. I forgot to get my pictures when I first got there. Fuck. Why is it so Pull it up and hit it backwards. Watch out real quick. Roll it up like this. You good? Yeah, this I just leave it here. Right here is good? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, do you need to see this car? Nope. Nope, you're good. Hey, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. Alright guys, we're heading to Chestertown now. It's about to take this Buick Regal to Denton. It's just a tow. But it's a cast call from out network from all state. So we're gonna go hit that now. So just a little introduction before we come up here on this car in Chestertown. My name is Joe. I'm the owner of Minuteman Recovery. It's a repossession and towing company in Greensboro, Maryland. I started it two years ago. I didn't actually open until the beginning of this year. I busted my ass for a long time, but my whole first year I kept getting denied for everything, literally every loan, everything that you could think of to try and get a business started, I got denied. But I had all my license and everything. I got that in the very beginning. Been in business since the beginning of this year, and I bought my truck after saving up from repossessing a bunch of cars with no truck. I was doing it with a van. I'd block them in, I'd get their keys, if not, I'd call a tow truck. And I just stacked a bunch of money like that for about two months. And 
I got my tow truck. And since then, I got in with a bunch of motor clubs, insurance companies, since repossession's been down since the beginning of the year because of, you know, and I got in with these motor clubs and the biggest one I'm with now is the Chiro. I have like 11 different motor clubs under my belt, but the biggest one is the Giro and Swoop, and they send me literally 30 plus calls a day. I'm really busy. I got enough work for about three trucks right now, and I got one. So I'm trying to take as many calls as I can. I bust my ass 24 hours and just dedicated. Um, my family means everything, and I plan this business to be really big one day. We're two minutes away from this address, and we're going to go up here and get it uh, loaded up and get it back to Denton. I'm not too sure. Probably just needs a tune up. Hold on. So you guys just missed it. Um, after I backed this car out of the uh, the driveway because it was pulled in. So after I just backed it out, um, the homeowner called me up there to make sure I just had the right address. And uh, I was running up there to her real quick because it was a little distance. Um, you can see right over there to that porch and as I was running down that ditch dude there was this old fucking fence line that the homeowner didn't even know about and they literally fucking oh, I gotta put that tire out more you didn't tell me that thing was in that thing's gotta be all the way out bud So I took a big ass fucking tumble and of course I didn't have it on camera. I never get the good shit on camera. Yeah, put this one down here like this. See, when it's like that, you gotta do it like this. Well, always pull that up out of your way. Put this down there like that, them tight spots. Flip it back like that. Bring it around like that. Look, this always goes on the inside of the tire. It's extra grip. Buckle that. Pick that up. I always flip this in once it gets right to the tight spot. And then a couple more clicks. And fold it in like that. Look how pretty that is. Grab that light for me. Oh, man. I feel like I fucked my legs up, bro. Oh, yeah, get your light on. And bud, go around, like knock off sticks and stuff like that. Just so when we're riding down the road, they never fly off and hit someone's car because it could have like some rocks or anything. You know what I mean? That's another thing. Always make sure your car is clean because you don't want no damage reports coming back from other cars that that flew off of your car and blah, blah, blah. So, all right, bud, we're ready to go. Tell you what. You got missed that. My nephew over there smacking his lips. Oh, smackety clappity over there. Minute man, it's Joe. Hello? 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 Hello?
Hello? All right, guys, so we're, uh, we're on our way back to Denton right now. I hope you guys like this angle. I'm trying to get a couple new angles for you guys. And uh, I, got a, I got a GoPro 9 coming. It, um, it should be here any day. Literally any day. But, God, I wish I caught that ball on camera. I busted my ass that night. Low key, that shit hurt. I pulled it off like that shit wasn't nothing, but God damn, that shit hurt, man. Woo! That's the thing about the towing. We yank cars, but you never know what's in the yard. God damn, there's landmines everywhere. The thing is, I rack out here. Gee, it was a trip bar. They knew that shit was there. Called me up on that porch just because they knew I was gonna run up there. Yeah, I'm hoping this company uh, grows to be real successful. I really want three locations with at least six units at each location. At least five light and medium duty wreckers and rollbacks, and then and a heavy duty um, wrecker at each location. I plan to get a car trailer because I'm in with co part but I just can't do nothing with them until I get a rollback. The guy up here at the uh, Seaford Live wants me to have a roll back. So I'm gonna get one of them and I'm gonna get me a car hauler too with a little cab and chassis truck and at least a five car car hauler. I'm gonna put that thing to work. I'm gonna have somebody hot shotting um, cars from there to wherever on the load boards, loading it up. I mean, I just got so many plans and ideas and I'm gonna get there. It's just the very beginning. I'm talking 10 years from now. Like, these are all plans. But I know I'll get there. I'm ambitious. I'm driven. I'm self-made. I get after what I got to do. I don't have nothing out on credit right now. I don't owe nobody nothing. I got light bills a month for my fucking business. And I'm making a lot of money. More money than I ever made. You on the background right there? Yeah. Right. Yeah, man, I kept driving right past this place. <laughs> I kept driving right past here. It kept telling me to go in their driveway. Yeah, just stick it right there, boy. Hey, but then there's some guy that like walked down and like chased me down. <laughs> I don't know where the fuck he came from. You can take it off. Who are you fixing it up or is this yours? No, I'm just fixing it up. Fixing it up. Yeah, she started up on me. She kind of uh, sputtered. 
She started up on me, but she was sputtering. Keys are still in the uh, center console, too. Oh, well, you got it, bud. Stretch it out a little bit. You're welcome. All right, guys. We just finished all that for the night and I'm gonna get my nephew home and we'll get to bed early tonight, maybe. Probably deny the rest of the calls for the night because I'm trying to hit some repos early in the morning, so. I'll get back with you until then, but until next episode, please like, subscribe, share, comment, get our name up there because I think you guys are going to enjoy the content that's coming. These next couple episodes are going to be really awesome. It's going to be a lot more live action. It's going to be a lot more drama, more content, and I think you guys are going to like it, but slap that like button, slap that subscribe button, tell everyone about Jack TV. It's the Jack Boys!